kind of like um, the start of CSI, hey. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Cool. I've, lo- I've dropped my little fuzzy thingy for the end, so sorry. Yes, performance poetry. Hmm? Hmm, spoken word. Hmm? Yes, words, etc., etc. So I'll be using lots of words today. I'll use some swear words too, sorry. But that's all right. I'm going to do some poems. Is that all right? Yeah? I like to perform poetry here in Brisbane. The crowds are very uh, loud and rambunctious. So, can I get you all to say superheroes for me? Superheroes! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Superheroes! Superheroes! Yeah, well, there's times you've got to flow, you know, and then there's times you've got to grow, and so as time it goes and it goes and it goes, I still want to be a... Yeah, well, there's times you've got to flow, you know, and then there's times you've got to grow, and so as time, well, it goes and it goes and it goes. We all want to be a... <laughs> yeah, by the time I was five, I got a surprise. My superpowers began to arrive. I had an ornate little Superman cape, used to fly into space with it, and damn, it was ace. I made it with precision and a lot of know-how. My Superman cape was just a straight tea towel, and my handguns were just hand guns until I changed the Conan and stalked the land yelling crumb in a green track suit and a makeshift shell light. I'd raise hell as Raphael. I kept my side daggers close for when the time came to once again battle Shredder and Krang a BFG catching dreams from Alaska to Wellington to rip out the spine of Skeletor's skeleton a diner rider rescuing reptiles in my invisible armor that deflects projectiles and there's times you've got to flow you know and then there's times you've got to grow and so well as time and it goes and it goes and it goes I still want to be a yeah, well, there's times you've got to flow, you know, and then there's times you've got to grow, and so, well, as time, yes, it goes, and it goes, and it goes, I still want to be a... Yeah, well, I love to rewind to when I was nine, and I could transform into Optimus Prime, me and Megatron would brawl before the seesaws, cheeky little monkeys embroiled in Beast Wars, and I'd save cities and subdue the panic, rescuing Gaia with Captain Planet, flying higher with my monkey magic. I had a card and crush on Penny from Inspector Gadget. But see, it's all good. See, I understood to get to her, I have to pass through farthing wood and control your anger, Daniel. Son, watch out for danger. Fuck the Power Rangers, man. I was the Lone Ranger. Grow with the flow. I'm slicing up silly rabbits like Yo Jimbo and no nuclear blast or toxic gas. I got my superpowers from an Echo show bag. But there's uh, times you've got to flow, you know, and then there's times you've got to grow and so all this time and it goes and it goes and it goes. I want to be a... Eh? All right, last one, make it loud. There's times you've got to grow, flow, you know, and then there's times you've got to grow and so Well, it's time. Yes, it goes and it goes and it goes. We all want to be, eh? Yeah. Yes, Cowboys and Indians, Aquaman and Amphibians, Dragon Ball Z, huh? Namics and Simeons, Middle Earth, Mithril, Technoman and Crystals, Mighty Adams with Missiles. Life is so simple, playing pretend, it's facing the depend, became a new superhero every second weekend and every first weekend I'd be consumed in my room, watching Looney Tunes cartoons until noon. Soon, it's apparent there's no parent with me. See, this is what happens when you're raised on TV. I can't say I regret it, but it gets a bit pathetic when you write a three-minute TED thing and nobody really gets it. <laughs> you guys got it? Yes. Give yourselves a round of applause. Ah! Yes, 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 yes. So I'll just do a short piece, a very, very short, it's kind of more of a rant, but uh, just just hold with me. It's called, if Jesus was born again, he would convert to Buddhism. So (laughs) if Jesus was born again, he would convert to Buddhism and he'd come down from heaven at the gates to Australia, the guy would be like, fuck off, we're full. And Jesus would wave his hand, Jedi mind trick stars and be like, you are not full. You are full of shit. And the guy would let him pass in turning, we are not full, we are full of shit. And Jesus' feet would land on the soft Australian soil and I'd be there to greet him like, sup Jesus? Jesus would be like, sup? And then a Melbourne University student would come past and clock him in the head and start stomping, screaming, fuck off, you fucking Indian, fuck! And Jesus would get up and crush his throat with the full fury of the force while saying a really bad punchline, something like, fuck me, fuck this, bitch. Being a very good host, I'd go and take him to a church where Jesus would look at the image of himself on the cross all confused and be like, hmm, who's that supposed to be? And I'd be like, it's supposed to be you, Jesus. And Jesus would be like, hmm, that must be a really old sculpture. It's been sun bleached white. And I'd be like, yeah, sun bleached. <laughs> Jesus would, of course, get up to deliver a sermon and the churchgoers would all be like, ah, oh, heathen, terrorist, Muslim, Al-Qaeda. And Jesus would be like, actually, I'm considered a prophet in the Muslim religion. And they'd be like, ah! And Jesus would be like, actually, I'm Jewish. And they'd be like, ah! Then surely disappointed, Jesus would start a blog, and it would read something like, WTF, I almost lol today when these so-called Christians didn't even know who the fuck I was. I told them I was Jewish, and they fled in terror. What would Jesus do? Get a sense of humor. Later, we'd go out for a drink. We'd go out for a drink a bit later, and Jesus would get free wine just by ordering water. Smart ass. We'd get drunk. (laughs) 
We get drunk, get lost and stumble on our way home and wake up with shaven-headed monks poking us with their feet. And Jesus would get up, wander around the temple grounds and be like, wow, this is fantastic. What is this place? And I'd be like, it's a Buddhist temple, Jesus. Buddha Siddhartha obtained enlightenment by sitting under a Bodhi tree. Got some followers. They got fat, lived in a temple and learned Kung Fu. And Jesus would be like, no shit. And I'd be like, no shit. And Jesus would be like, that's fucking awesome. I always wanted to learn Kung Fu. And I'd be like, but Jesus, you can crush people's throats with the power of your mind. Jesus would be like, yeah, but Kung Fu's really awesome. Therefore, if Jesus was born again, he would convert to Buddhism. Guy, it's just you and me, and the and the birds and the clouds. Okay, you've got some friends, but I just wanted to take this moment to get to know you a bit better and see if you know, see if it will work if there was nothing that came between us, and it, and if something did come between us, like you know the ground, then it would hurt, but I wouldn't be hurt, and you wouldn't have to be offended. You could go back to your birds and your clouds and your and your, and your bats, and they seem nice. I always liked it when you dressed in rainbow. But blue just seems to suit you. And even like it when you get really mad and throw tantrums and kind of destroy whole cities and stuff. And I spoke to Brisbane, and Brisbane said it's sorry, so no more tears, hey? <laughs> Sky is just you and me, and, and the birds and the clouds and the bats and aurora borealis. I never liked the way we treated you. Throwing things through you like you never existed. Missiles leave ugly mascara running down your cheek and that fake tan nuclear blast is just going to pull into your socks the next time it rains. I hope you don't hold it against me. Or us. But please don't hold anything against me. Frisbees are nice though, hey. Sky, it's just you and me. And you don't have to hold me close. And you don't have to show me you care. Don't show me anything. But in the few seconds before something comes between us, just, just let me believe that Sky. Just you and me. So I've been told a lot of truth, a lot of lies in between, and I've been told I won't amount to nothing in this little scene, and I've been told I should make dirty beats and told to keep it clean, and I've been told I got pipe dreams blowing smoke screens, and I've been told to keep it real by these plastic MC fantasies, been told to keep my feet on the ground by voices in the canopy, I've been told that on a technicality I'm like insanity, and I've been told to let go, let go of your broken family, and I've been told not to call until you're ready to talk. It's like being told not to crawl until you're ready to walk, and... I've been told that love is unconditional, but here's the twist, unconditional love always comes with a list, and I've been told to tick the boxes, kiss the ass of the bosses, and if it gets too hard to foster love, man, just cut your losses, and I've been told that I will break, I've been told that I'm a fake, and I should learn how to bake. Why? Because suicide's a piece of cake. And I've been told one day I'll get there if I just hone my craft, but where's there when you're Alice reflected in a looking glass, and I've been told that I'm a square peg trying to fit in wormholes. I've been told that I should be on fire, but I burn cold. I've been told this game is slippery, but I got a firm hold, so I just got to tell myself again just what I've been told. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. I'd just like to do one more piece. So I'm not trying to tell you all what to do. All right. But you've got to make something bigger than yourself in a small moment. 
You've got to see the moon through the eye of the needle and splash the ocean when jumping puddles. You've got to give the finger to meteors that just want to rain on your parade. You've got to take a shot and pin Robin Hood to that fucking tree. <laughs> Dip your fingers in a bubbling pot of make-believe and lick the bowl clean. Be sated. You've got to make something bigger than yourself in a small moment. Hand David a small rock and teach him how to throw it. Make a deal with Medusa just so you can taste her venom again. Ask him if he knows where God is and ask her if she's spoken to Father Time. You've got to tell a Scientologist, hey, man, you might be right. <laughs> and ask Jesus to fix that wobbly leg on your dining table. You've got to rewind a melody, secretly hoping that you will hear the devil speaking. You've got to make something bigger than yourself in a small moment. Tell him that you love him, like the mountains love to caress clouds, and tell her that she makes you believe in porn again. <laughs> Stick a toothpick in the earth and move mountains, move a tongue and move history, shoot epiphanies out of cliches and rock the walls with a slingshot. You gotta perceive love in a question and hate in a sentence. You gotta read between the lines, but burn the fucking paper. You've got to make something bigger than yourself in a small moment. Thank you very much. Yeah.